Hello there. I am here today to talk to you about one of the best inventions I've ever encountered in my life. And uh, I guess I should preface this video by saying if you are not into conversation about anything menstrual, as in dealing with a woman's menstrual cycle, this video is not for you. But if you are an environmentalist, well, or at least a tree hugger like I am, and uh, you realize all the waste that goes into a menstrual cycle, whether it's pads or tampons or... What else would it be? Pads, tampons? I guess that's it. And just washing of clothes and etc. Anyhow, so for years I was like, oh my God, all this waste just going into the landfill. Um, and then one day I went to a screening of a documentary called The Green Bin Project by uh, Jen and, uh oh, I forget his name, Mark? No, can't remember. Anyhow, they came to St. John's and they uh, were doing a Canadian tour. And as one of the prizes for guessing a name uh, or guessing an answer to a question that they asked, they gave out the best invention of all time, which is the Diva Cup, which is where I found out about it. And this was only, I don't even know, maybe seven years ago I found out about this. I'm 47. If I had found out about this when I was 12, this would have saved me a lot of grief, a lot of accidents, a lot of landfill filling. Anyhow, this is the Diva Cup. So it has highly changed my life. Like periods now don't even phase me. I mean, you know, there's still maintenance, of course, shit's still happening, but this may improve your life, hopefully as much as it improved mine. So here, let me open it up. I have a brand new one, so I thought since I have a brand new one, I could take it out of the box and just talk about all the features that I love about it and uh, yeah, and walk you through it and just give you tips that I've learned over the few years that I've been using it. Um, so every time it's that time of the month, I <laughs> my poor hubby Bash is like, oh my God, you really do love this. Um, when my period starts and I realize that I now have this diva cup, I actually yell out, I love my diva. Yeah, it's ridiculous, but that is how much I love it. So anyhow, let me show you what it is. So here you can get it at any health store, I would say. I got mine at the Healthy Vibe on Water Street downtown. They are also in... CBS and in Cornerbrook, I think. So the healthy vibe. And it is about $35 here in Newfoundland anyway. So about $35 and it lasts a year. I mean, it lasts longer, but they say to change it after, like to buy a new one after a year. So every September I just buy a new one and thank my lucky stars that it exists. So the Diva Cup. Okay, so firstly, okay, so I'll take it out. It's as simple as this. Boom. There, it's a silicone cup. And it has tiny little holes here, I guess for um, air movement and stuff. And it's got like a little tip on it, which is your pull tip. So the the short and dirty of this is basically you put it up, you know where, inside and then it pops open like this and creates this little um, vacuum around your parts and then everything goes into here, which blew my mind. Now meanwhile, uh, it does take a bit of practice because I have had incidences because I do this method. So you do like that and insert it up like this. Now you must, you must get used to 
poking and moving it around inside of you. So like I said, if this conversation is not for you, turn the video off. Uh, but if you're a woman who really wants to just nip this pain in the arse in the bud, because it does happen once a month or more frequently or less frequently, and we never know sometimes when it's gonna happen. So this is the bomb. Uh, so basically this is a cup that catches your menstrual stuff. And so like I said, depending on your flow, now I have heard from a few friends of mine who have heavy, heavy flow that this just doesn't cover it, which I get, but you could also use it as a, uh, like a secondary. So use this plus say a panty liner. Um, I can tell sometimes when this is not quite right in place and I will put on a panty liner just to make sure but either way it still catches most of it and then when it is perfectly in place it is a miracle like you forget you're having your period I swear or I do anyways um, so uh, let me see what can I tell you about okay well I'll start with the basics so the box there are two sizes. So size one is for women under 30 years old who have never delivered vaginally or by C-section. So I am split in this category. So the number one, which is smaller, um, I guess because you have a smaller, less stretched vagina. Um, so I am not under 30 years old and I have not delivered a baby either way. So I figure I went for number two which is a larger size and it's for women over 30 years old and or for women who have delivered vaginally or by C-section. So, bigger vaginas get number two. So I just went for number two because I'm a, I'm a big girl. <laughs> Anyhow, so I picked the number two. So you can pick whatever one you want. Um, and I also figured it would hold more stuff. So I went for the two. And I'm over 30, so I'm a big girl. Um, okay, so also on the box, so all the instructions are here, but I thought I would give you the short and dirty. So there's two different ways you can insert it. So one they recommend is the fold in like this, and then whoop, up and it goes. And then, so let me show you. So up and it goes, it may unfold a little bit, maybe not the whole way. And, and may I say that before I put it in, I just run it under the tap, just to give it a little more movement, if you know what I'm saying. So then I do this, fold it like this, pinch it nice and tight, whoop, up and it goes, and may let go the whole way, or it may just let go a little bit. So what I do is I just grab the tip of it and then just gently, because you don't want to suction your vagina out of there, gently pull it out like this, and you'll feel it kind of go quick, and then push it back in right into that right place, and you'll know when it's in the right place, especially once you figure out your, your own sweet spot. Anyhow, and then once you feel like it's fully opened and you know doing its job, give it a 360 twist inside. Now it doesn't pull or anything like that, but you'll know it's in the right place. So that just sets it into place perfectly. So you will know when it's in the right place and you will know when it's not in the right place. And sometimes you'll think it's in the right place and it's not quite in the right place and you will get leaks. So just know it'll happen. So when you first start with this, uh, you may want to just back it up with a panty liner. And if you're heavy, heavy flow, then use this and use your regular pad until you figure out how to work it or if it's for you at all. Now I've also heard that some people say that this thingy is too long for them, so it will, say, stick out too far. <laughs> so if that happens, you can also snip off these ends a little, but make sure you don't snip off too much so that you still have pull. Um, uh, let's see, so I use this as soon as my period starts. And uh, so the first couple of days, I monitor it more than say the last couple of days of it. Um, and the key to the diva is being near a sink. 
So I like bathrooms, like my own bathroom, where the toilet is right next to the sink. That is very convenient, and you will know why when you wanna change it up. So you'll go to the bathroom, obviously, and over the toilet, um, what I do is, so you'll just put your fingers in like this, so you'll feel the little nubbin at the end, and then what I do is I'll just put my finger like this, and I will break the seal a little bit, and then pull it out gently, because you don't want it to go because you can get some, some action, if you know what I'm saying. Action that you don't want to be cleaning up. So just gently pull it out, clunk, and you'll pour out what's in the cup, and then you'll reach over to the sink, and you'll nicely wash it out. Now, I'm careful about what soaps I use on it. I don't like anything scented or you know, anything too wild, I go for like a more natural soap because you know where this is going and you only want the good stuff in there. So anyhow, and also making sure that these little holes are cleaned out because they are part of the, um, I guess the air exchange to suction element of this amazing object. Uh, what else can I tell you about it? Uh, you will get to know your own flow um, and you'll know how often you have to change this up. I know a friend of mine puts it in in the morning and doesn't take it out to change it up until the nighttime. I have also heard of people who have gone 24 hours and just leave it in there if, you know, things aren't flowing too much. But like I said, if you have heavy flow, you may want to just, you know, Double check it before you go out, you know, you know how to do it. I mean, this isn't your first kick at the cash, I would say. So this thing is amazing. So depending on your flow, you'll you'll know how often to change it up. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh, I have to sneeze. <coughs> Sorry. Also comes in this convenient little carry bag which is adorable, and it used to come with a pin that said I am diva, but I think they've, they are not including that anymore. Is this a pin? No, I don't even know what this is. Anyhow, uh, this is the best thing that's ever happened to me, and I have cut down my landfill production by one quarter, I would say. So I use a quarter of the amount of stuff I used to use. Panty liners is my only thing now. But I would say that I am regular flow. Yeah, so I don't have heavy, I don't have light, but I would say I'm your average chick. So this thing is a miracle for me. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh yeah, if you're out and you're in a bathroom stall, say in a bar, and the sinks are out, you know, outside your bathroom stall. There are a few things you can do. So you, you can take paper or toilet paper and then um, remove this, pour it out in the toilet and put it on the paper and just clean it up again on the outside, even on the inside if you wanted to really get that picky, but if you want to get back to the party. Um, so you can wipe that off, throw the tissue in the toilet and Boom, up she goes again. Anyhow, so there's all kinds of tricks. It's so worth it. Uh, even heavy flow, if it just caught part of it, it might be worth it. So uh, anyhow, I just wanted to scream from the mountaintops how much I love this little silicone cup. And as much as I'm not into plastics and silicones um, as much as possible, this thing, I think is worth it. I mean, we'd be jamming tampons up in there, so I don't know how good that is either. So I figure this is the next best thing. Anyhow, that's it for now. So hopefully that is it. Yeah, and you may, I call them <laughs> diva farts. So sometimes a little bit of air will get in there when it goes up and then <laughs> you'll start to walk and you may feel a few little bubbles escaping. You know, you could just call it a cheap thrill, but just know it's, uh, I call them diva farts. Anyhow, that might be too much information, but just so you know, cause you will want to try this. 
anyhow, Diva Cup, just the best thing ever. Like, saved my life. I wish I'd known about it when I was 12. Just a mere 35 years ago. This would have saved me a lot of anguish and made my tree hugger self way happier. Okay, so go out, get your diva, try it out. Just, just figure it out. It's worth the time, it's worth the effort, because in the end, it's the bomb. Okay, love you all. Happy periods. <laughs> Bye.